be sure to subscribe for more content. What is up ladies and gents? Welcome to the Big BC Finance channel and I hope you're having a very lovely day today. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking all about Dogecoin, what has happened to it recently and where we predict the price to go to in the near future with some key price levels and some trades I'm looking out for. So be sure to stay tuned for all of that. And of course, if you appreciate the daily analysis on this channel and you're one of the 88% of people that watch my videos that have not yet subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button if you do like this content. So without further ado, Let's talk about what we are seeing on the screen right now with Dogecoin and what has happened. And Dogecoin right now, just over the past few hours, has been in a pretty exciting area because, of course, as you can see, just two, three hours ago, this is the one hour chart, so three candles ago, we basically came up to touch this trend line here, this yellow resistance that's been on Dogecoin for the longest time. Now, we literally came up to test it in one candle and came back down. And of course, every time the resistance is touched and the price bounces off, it makes for a stronger resistance. And of course, we really, really like like this because when the price does come to break through this resistance at some point dogecoin is gonna have to break through the resistance whether it's now over the next few hours or whether it takes dogecoin weeks and weeks and weeks until the resistance is broken dogecoin is gonna have to break through and the more a resistance is tested and the longer it takes to form the more larger the breakout when the price does eventually break out of it and of course that presents a massive opportunity for investors and traders here on dogecoin you can see with this trend line going down this yellow one we've tested it from november the first basically when dogecoin reached its local high of 16 cents there we tested it again in these regions here a couple of times and very and most recently in this region just a few hours ago so now we have at least four tests of this resistance it's formed over the course of two weeks and so we can say this is a pretty reliable resistance here and once it's broken we could expect a very large price move so that is one major thing we're looking out for on dogecoin and i do think the price is sandwiched in this region here so i'm going to draw the fibonacci lines because these lines tell us where we can encounter some support and resistance and what we actually have here is the price pretty much has been sandwiched in between these two regions between the 0.618 fib and the 0.786 fib now what's quite fascinating about this is that these fib lines that we just draw, draw by connecting the low the local low of the price of dogecoin down here to the local high of dogecoin up here the fascinating thing it shows us where we can encounter quite reliable supports and resistances and the 0.618 fib has been perfect in demonstrating that so you can see here we've had two tests of it being a, su a support in this region and plenty of tests here where this 0.618 fib is our resistance so what i do think we have is an area where dogecoin price is sandwiched and again with the 0.786 fib you can see there's been several tests of it as a support in this region the price did come below but then came back up not too long after and again we've had areas where this 0.786 fib at 7.8 cents here on dogecoin has been tested very very well so what i do believe is starting to happen is the price is starting to get sandwiched in between the 0.786 fib and this trend line going down so if i extend that what you can actually see is that dogecoin will have to make up its mind at some point what it's going to do with this if price goes on it's going to only get so far until it has to make its mind up whether it's going to respect this yellow resistance here and break below this 0 0.786 fib or whether we're going to see some sort of breakthrough and head a lot higher now of course now, of course, in terms of price target, what I'd be looking for is a breakout of this kind of magnitude. So if we grab our measuring tool and just drag it to where the price might break out of this yellow resistance, if it is able to break out, this would be the kind of price target that I would be looking for. So basically, if we are able to break out in the next few hours, so Dogecoin price does something like this, where it starts to make a nice turnaround and come to test our resistance again and finally break out here. By the end of today, for example, then what I'd expect is to see price target at this FIB, the 0.5 FIB here at around 10.7 cents now. Of course, it might not be immediate. It might take a little bit of time before we get there, for example. It might take a couple of days, but I do eventually expect it to be reached. And by the same virtue, if we break out over the next few days, for example, then the price target is dynamic and the price target is slightly lowered because of this leaning trend line here. But if we do break out to the downside, at any point i would expect the price target to be 6.4 cents which is almost a full retracement of the pump prior to when elon musk bought twitter so that's something to be looking out for of course of course what i do want to see is when the price approaches this trend line once again uh, whenever it does i want to see the volume down here increase so as the price approaches the trend line and starts to potentially break out what i want to see is an increase in volume as it breaks out which tells me that people are coming to buy dogecoin as it starts to break out and i'm looking for large green candles that tell me there's a lot of momentum so we want to see candles like this one over here uh 
that have a lot of momentum in the upwards direction as we break out of the trend line. If we see very small candles, for example, it shows us that it's not a very valid breakout and therefore it's be seeing a false signal. So that is something to be looking out for. Of course, what we also want to look out for are breakouts from our moving averages here. So this blue line in particular and this lighter green line, if the price exceeds that to the upside, we do want to see quite a bit of momentum as well. It tells us that these moving averages are respected. And if we are able to flip them, so the price goes above this 100 hour moving average in blue and this 200 moving 200 hour moving average in light green, we have a lot of momentum. It tells us that we could be commencing a new bullish trend here. Now, now, of course, we've had some recent developments in crypto that has affected the whole cryptocurrency market. So we're going to be keeping our eye on that as well. Of course, at the moment, as you see, it's mostly green here on the top cryptocurrencies. Um, that was over the past few hours after we had a nice Binance announcement stating that they were going to support projects financially that have suffered from the FTX fallout. So this is why Solana has pumped the most, because, of course, they were a massive victim of this FTX fallout since the CEO held a lot of Solana. <coughs> Of course, you know, there's going to be a lot of news, particularly a lot of eyeballs on these major exchanges at the moment. If any of them crash, so for example, you know, see another liquidity crisis in another exchange. So a lot of people seeing things like crypto.com at the moment, if they were to crash and become insolvent as well, we could see the prices plunge further. So there's a lot of eyeballs at the moment on that. We want to be keeping in touch with the news. We want to be keeping our eyes on the news and eyes on Twitter as well. I'm basically following all the major exchanges and the CEOs of these major exchanges because, you know, there'll be some telling signs if an exchange is about to be insolvent. And of course, if we do see an exchange crash and burn like FTX, we could see another dump in the direction downwards. Of course, last of course, when FTX did manage to dump, we saw this 11 cents all the way down to around 7 0.8 cents here on dogecoin so this is what happened after xtx dumps we saw a massive we saw that 31 percent drop here on dogecoin and of course it continued to fall further over the course of the next few hours and next few days as people lost confidence in crypto so you know if we see another exchange disappear then we could see the prices of dogecoin fall as well so of course i'll be keeping my eye on what happens in that department and if i do make any trades i will post it on my trading view so be sure to follow me on there if you want to see my analysis sooner then i'm able to make videos on them the link is in the description below and another thing that's obviously able to influence dogecoin quite greatly is what elon musk is doing so at the moment there's not been too much in the way of dogecoin from elon musk because the tensions averted more from his acquisition of twitter towards this cryptocurrency exchange failure so not too much has been happening but if elon musk were to make another dogecoin related tweet or anything like that then of course we can see nice pumps on here on dogecoin particularly if it's close to this trend line here it could be enough to edge the price of dogecoin above this trend line and create a new breakthrough with a change of trend here so i'm definitely obviously I'm definitely still following Elon Musk on Twitter and seeing if he tweets anything about Dogecoin because it always seems to pump the price when he does. Just a few days ago, he did say Dogecoin to the moon on an AMA on Twitter. And as a result, we saw Dogecoin go from about 7.9 cents to a high of about 9.4 cents. So that was really cool to see. So if he does anything similar, that could be enough to drive the price through this yellow line that's been respected by Dogecoin for too long now. And very finally, we can just check what the whole cryptocurrency market is doing. And my way of doing that is just by following what Bitcoin is doing. Of course, whatever Bitcoin does will have a bias on what altcoins do. So if Bitcoin makes a nice move in an upwards direction like this, it's a lot easier for altcoins like Dogecoin to follow suit as well. So you can see Dogecoin do a nice pump here. However, if Bitcoin is heading in the downwards direction, if we head into 15,000 or below on Doge uh, on Bitcoin, then we can then it's going to be a lot harder for us to be bullish on Dogecoin. It's like trading against the trend. We want to go really with the trend. So if the trend is in the negative direction and Bitcoin generally tends to set the market trend, then it's going to be a lot harder for Dogecoin to go in a bullish direction. So this is why we want to monitor what Bitcoin is doing. And at the moment, what I'm basically seeing here on Bitcoin as the most reliable signal is some sort of triangle that looks like this. Again, it looks like we are starting to consolidate in a pattern that looks like this. So we can kind of connect the bottoms here and we can connect 
the top here and what we see is some sort of triangle now of course a triangle we can break out in both directions so we can break to the upside or we can break to the downside if we break to the upside then we could then bitcoin could continue to go up if the triangle is respected and the price target would be very high in the 20,000s if this triangle is entirely respected but if we break to the downside so let's say we lose this 16,000 level here on bitcoin we continue to go down into the 15,000s we would have lost the support level and the price target from that would be nearer in the 14,000s and of course if Bitcoin's heading to 14,000, that's not going to be good for Dogecoin whatsoever. So I'm monitoring what happens within this triangle. Will, if Bitcoin price comes close to this triangle, then I will be keeping my eyes on Bitcoin and Dogecoin. Because if we see a breakout on Bitcoin, very chances are we should see increased volatility, increased volume, and a potential breakout on Dogecoin too. So this is what I'm observing right now on Bitcoin. I'm observing this kind of triangle formation, but also just for completeness of this video, I'm sure... I'm also looking for developments of this potential double bottom and a, poten a double bottom is a bullish chart pattern. There's only one direction. And if the double bottom completes, um, so I'm going to draw the neckline here. And so to complete this double bottom, the price of Bitcoin needs to get up to this neckline and then exceed it. So what we want to see is the price slowly get up to 17,000, uh, sorry, 18,000 ish. And then if we do break out to the upside from that neckline, that is a double bottom formation that is a confirmed change of trend. If we do see this pattern play out and the price target of that again would be in the 20,000s. So that would be very, very bullish for Bitcoin. So this is something that I'm looking at, something that I am monitoring. But of course, in order to get there, we need the price of Bitcoin to first get to 18,000. 200 so quite a bit of a way to go at the moment but it's something that could be forming of course we see the volume decline here which is textbook double bottom the volume on the second peak should always be less than on the first peak and what's encouraging as well is we do actually see increased in volume as the price pumped there as well so quite an important pattern that could be a play here so checking what the bitcoin is doing is always a good policy and as always, I'll be looking for chart patterns on the short term as well. So I'm always looking out for what Dogecoin is doing. Maybe we do see some new small chart patterns form in the near future. And, and of course, if I do, I will make videos about them here on this YouTube channel as I make this content daily. So if I do say anything, you'll see a video on Dogecoin tomorrow as well. So, and of course, very excited to see what Dogecoin does with this trend line here because we're really close to it now. And if we do break through it, then sooner or later, we should see a very nice pump to our intended price target of around 11 cents here on Dogecoin. When we break through, I'll be looking for an increase in volume. I'll be looking for that upwards momentum. And if I do see it, of course, that'll go on my trading view, but the price target from that will be 11 cents. But of course, if we continue to head in the downwards direction, I do expect that we will eventually hit 6 cents. In, I do eventually expect to hit 6.4 cents here on Dogecoin. So that is what I'm observing right now. That is all I have to say here on Dogecoin as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. Do let me know in the comments down below if you're holding any Doge. But otherwise, I'll see you in my next video.